And you feel like falling down I'll carry you home Tonight Good morning, Cavaliers. Welcome to this week's edition of KCAV News. I'm your host, Emily. And I'm your other host, Amory. And this week, we're here to talk to you about probably the best thing ever. International Women's Day. It was yesterday, March 8th, and obviously, women hold up half the sky. I really hope Cavs know what the International Women's Day is. If you don't know what it is, here are a few things you should know. International Women's Day has been observed since the early 1900s. It is an official holiday in many parts of the world, sadly not here in America. Yeah, Emily, I wish we celebrated it too. I mean, it would help bring awareness to issues around the world. And this year's theme is Connecting Girls, Inspiring Futures. This day brings awareness to real-life issues that women face. Yeah, sadly, the statistics say it all sometimes. One in three women are sexually assaulted in their lifetime. That is really frightening, and it's sad that it happens. Watch this. Every two minutes, someone in the U.S. is sexually assaulted. One in three women get sexually abused in their lifetime. Two out of three are committed by someone they know. Three out of five are not reported to the police. Cavaliers around the school gained a little bit more knowledge about International Women's Day after watching this roll-in. Yeah, I know I did. Well, here's another fact for you, Amrit. Did you know that the first Women's Day movement was very successful and it managed to mobilize millions of women and men who attended rallies to support gender equality, women's role in public affairs, and their right to universal suffrage? Emily, I have actually considered majoring in women's studies once I go to college. Really? I think that's an interesting major. Speaking of college, here's Sienna who always has a scoop on your college news. Hey you guys, I'm Sienna Graham with your college news. Attention all AP students who are taking the AP exam. Please make sure to stop by the main office to see if you're taking the correct test. And once you verify that, that on the administration wall, please initial your name next to that test. And also, for all those seniors who are interested in Santa Monica, a Santa Monica representative will be at the land on March 15th in the college office, so make sure to check that out. Also, juniors, it's that time. CPC applications are now available on the Cleveland website, so make sure to fill it out and then give it to Ms. Drill by March 16th. If you want more college information, please stop by the college office. Back to you guys. Thank you, Sienna. One of the countries that recognizes International Women's Day as an official holiday is Afghanistan. We have a special role in to inform you Cavaliers about Afghan Girls Connect, a special project run by our Time Club. Watch this clip. It's a project that connects girls from all over the world where they can all discuss issues that are occurring in their country and affect them. And we have girls all from all over the world give us the feedback on what is affecting them and you know we learn from each other's different cultures. The video will be posted on the website of the partner organization and it will also be available to the Facebook page. I hope that people will start to care because the first step to making a difference is for people to care what is going on and to be aware of women's problems all over the world. I love Rollins that inform us Cavaliers about things international. Now here's Brian to tell you about another connection we've made to support our sisters in Afghanistan. Hey Cav, this is Brian with a special announcement thanking Mr. DeBolt's first, third, fifth, and sixth period classes along with Ms. Subert's fourth period class. 
that help judge nearly 80 websites from Afghanistan students. The students are part of a computer training and English language program for boys and girls in Jalabad, Afghanistan. The, con the contest was to create a website for International Women's Day. Mr. DeBold and Ms. Subert's class submitted their scores to the State Department and the Muslim, who started the contest. We are now going to see the winning websites while I read a letter of thanks to Mr. DeBold and Ms. Subert's classes from Ms. Muslim at the State Department. I want to personally thank you for judging and critiquing websites created for International Women's Day. I especially appreciate the respect and care the students took in reviewing the sites. You obviously were very moved by what you read and supported your communicated to your Afghan peers is exactly the small, important steps that will lead us all to a more peaceful world. Your understanding of the importance of this project for both American and Afghan kids is much appreciated. Now back to our host. Congratulations to all those websites that have won. Now, why don't we go to Connie with your senior news, Cavs? Good morning, Cavs. This is Connie with your senior news. Now, premium package holders, today is the last day to pick up your senior t-shirts in age 18, 19, or 20 during lunch. And next week, Tuesday and Wednesday, will be ticket distribution for senior breakfast on the quad during lunch. And juniors interested in joining senior board, applications are now available on the CHS website or H18. And there will be a mandatory informational meeting on Monday, March 12th. Applications are due on March 15th to H18 at Nutrition. And that's all the senior news I have for you this week. Back to you guys. You know what I found pretty interesting? What? The fact that women's sports date back to 776 BC, I think that's incredible. Wow, this just shows how women have always been empowering. Of course. Now let's get a little more information on sports news with Leland and Edgar. What's up, you guys? This is Leland and Edgar with your sports news. Congratulations to the boys' golf team as they won their season opener against Sosas. Congrats! Swim team will be having their first meet on Monday against Chatsworth. Good luck, you guys. Boys' volleyball, both varsity and JV, defeated Monroe on Wednesday. Congrats, and back to you guys. And now it's time for birthday shout out. Wait, Emmerich, not so fast. We still have late breaking news. Oh, yeah, my mistake. Here's Jenny with your late breaking news, Cavs. Hey, Cavs, Jenny here with your late breaking news. Cleveland High School will be hosting a Cav Cafe taste testing event on Tuesday, March 20th during period four and lunch in K2. Come and enjoy the cafeteria's new and delicious meals. Cleveland will also be hosting a community campus beautification morning on, Mar on Saturday, March 24th from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Students, parents, and community members are all welcome to help tidy up our campus. The new drama production, Into the Woods, is coming out next Friday, so make sure you buy a ticket from any drama student. Ukulele Club, don't forget KCAV will be filming your spotlight today, after school, and next week. Uncle Charlie and Auntie Ilima return all in age seven. Check out videos of the Ukulele Club on Facebook and YouTube. Search Cleveland High School Ukulele Club. That's all the news I have for you this week. Back to you guys. All right, Amrit, now we can do birthday shout outs. Okay. Happy birthday to Tiffany from your bestest buddies. Happy birthday to Amelia from your fellow dragons. Before the show comes to an end, we would like to share some words of wisdom. A woman must not accept. She must challenge. She must not be awed by that which has been built up around her. She must reverence that women struggle for expression, said by Margaret Sanger. This concludes the ending of a very special show. Catch us next week. Same time. Same place. With, with your, your KCAB, KCAB news. news.